Hey everyone, Vols fan here from Last Regiment, and I just wanted to take the time to give you guys a base update uh, so that you can compare and see how your base looks. Um, so as I've talked about before, I am VIP. Uh, I've had VIP since it was available, um, so I'm able to do two building upgrades at a time, but with this new update, sometimes the materials or the resources aren't as bountiful. Um, so I've been obviously raiding, farming, and things like that to get them up there. But I've reached a level as of the previous two buildings I was upgrading, which was the iron storage to level 5 that just finished earlier today. And um, this farm finished to level 6. Both of them took four days plus. I think one of them was four days. One of them was like four days and two hours. That was the point where I had plenty of time to build up my resources. So by the time that both of these buildings were done, I had the iron. Again, this was advanced iron stories that finished level 5. I had enough iron to start my farm to go into level 8. And then because the only... And that took all of my iron, so I didn't have any left. But because the mine requires food to upgrade... My food was also plenty to where I was able to upgrade my mine. So as it stands right now, my advanced storage is at level 5. My advanced mine is at level 5, upgrading to 6. And as you can see, that will be done in uh, just under 4 days. My advanced food storage is at level 2. And my advanced farm is currently at level 7, upgrading to level 8. And you can see here five days um let's see if it tells me how long it started at yeah it started at more than five days as you can see there is a little bit of progress but a long time so rest assured that if you're at two three or four it, it gets better the wait time gets longer but you got to think about the wait times being that long you need that time to build up the resources and with these resources you can see how many how much food and iron I have and I'll be completely honest just from my last video I've only sped up two buildings since the upgrade one of them was stronghold 21 and I believe the other one was upgrading a mine when it was like 19 gems to speed it up since then I have not uh, accelerated any buildings um, I've just been making sure that anytime a building is done I'm working on a new one so uh, just keep that in mind as you're working through this. I have not touched my houses yet. So Vance House, I have no issues with the recruits. I have no issues there. So there was no desire for me to convert a house. So if you chose to convert a house based on your strategy or your um, goals in the game, by all means, your choice, your prerogative. I don't want to do that because the only advantage of the additional house is more recruit storage and... Um, this actually produces recruits and I, I farm enough to where that is never an issue. In fact, I have too many recruits um, and I don't want to use resources for my training center. So that's where I'm sitting at now. My hunter's lodge is currently at level two and I have done both levels of research. So I'm able to craft giant harpoons as well as the Titan banner, which is the level two uh, item. In case you're curious on the cost, significant amount of iron and a significant amount of food. And then it requires the Titan shell as well as the Titan fang, uh, one of each to create. So if you've started using harpoons, definitely come up with a, a goal as an alliance of where to um, stop at. As an alliance, we've been stopping at 45. Uh, 44, excuse me. Looks like somebody threw an extra one in there. But we've been stopping at that second tier because we have varying levels of accomplishment uh, in the Alliance. We have some people that have been focusing on upgrading some key heroes so they didn't have the resources to uh, do the research on the Harpoons. But I believe by this next war, um, just getting a timeline on it, this weekend's war, everybody in the Alliance will have the ability to craft Harpoons. Um, so that we can maybe look at stepping up to the 125. But because of how expensive it is at level 2, level 3, and so on in the Hunter's Lodge, there's really no rush to get to 125. The amount of loot that it drops is, um, in my opinion, it's acceptable. So we'll look at what I've gotten from the last Titan. Um, 
So here's my Titan rewards. So you can see here I received one shell, one um, claw, one eyeball, one beak, one heart, uh, another shell, so two shells, one in two feathers. And yes, I also got a tonic. Super exciting. Uh, right above that is my Titan chest. So wah, wah, kind of lame. But um, yeah, so we, that those 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 mats are, are plentiful based on the progress that everybody can be at uh, in the game at this time. So just wanted to share that update with you. Um, as we look forward to this war of the middle of the week, uh, last regiment is matched up against extreme Panda. Um, we faced them in the past. Uh, I believe this will be the rubber match. I believe the first time we faced them, um, they defeated us. And the last time we faced them, um, we were able to come out with a victory. So this is the rubber match. Hopefully, um, last regiment comes out on top. Uh, it is attack boost, as you can see here, just like everybody else's. And um, we're looking forward to a um, great war. Uh, just a quick look at our alliance score. Trophy score, 79,000. Titan score, just over 100K. And our war score is at 103K. So curious after that Titan, because we just killed the Titan not long before this video. It looks like we're ranked second, um, just under... Uh, this newly formed alliance, Seven Days Departed. You, you may have heard of them. Um, they're kind of a new one that just started. I'm, I'm just kidding. Uh, definitely one of the legacy alliances in Seven Days Departed. They must have um, all been on cup runs or just uh, killed um, a Titan. But their war score is significantly higher than ours by 3,000. So hopefully if we win this war, um, our war score will also go up. And we might get to face these guys for the first time. We haven't faced them before. But you can see here, their Titan score is slightly higher than ours by uh, 1,000 points. And, of course, their war score is higher. So that kind of makes up the significant deficit of 3,000 um, points at this level. But you could also see Extreme Panda ranked right below us um, in third. So this is a pretty going to be a pretty good matchup for um, some top alliances in the game. So let me know if you have any questions. I just wanted to provide a quick base update for those of you that follow and have questions. Definitely comment on the video. I would love to answer them uh, as they come in. Um, one last thing before I go, I'll let you know what's going on in my training centers. So this training center is still crafting ice heroes, uh, and that's in preparation for Miki, who is the August hero of the month. I have these two training centers continuously crafting at 11. So there's only 42 in there now. And then I believe this one should have a little bit more. So this, oh, it's got the same at 42. So I just finished off Captain Kestrel a couple of weeks ago. So I've used some of those feeder heroes. Uh, this one, I got really bored and I had a lot of extra food. So I put 158 of level 19 extra fast. So I'm waiting to see what I'm going to do with them. But it may not be until um, I get Miki or if I do any Atlantis draws and pull any cool heroes that I want duplicates of. So that's what's going on there. Um, again, if you have any questions, definitely comment on the video. Otherwise, please subscribe. I'm looking forward to seeing a lot more subscribers on the channel so we can post more content. And if you do have any questions, comment on the video. Thank you guys very much.